Hi folks, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm running the full update. Um, I'm a Xbox Insider, which some of you who've watched my previous videos already know. And I sat down this morning to make a video about the new update, which will be coming, as I say, in the fall or in autumn, as we say, in the UK. While I was doing that, though, I noticed something rather annoying to me and a bit interesting. And that is, if you go over to here where it says Joe Chip at the top, you can't see it now because I've already changed it. But it was actually showing my email address, the one that's associated with my account. Now, obviously, if I'm making videos, that would then show up my email address, which is the email address that I don't want going out to people. So I wanted to turn that off. So I did a little bit of looking around and I found that there's a very quick and easy solution. So if you've got this update or you get this update in the future when it comes down to the general Xbox population, then this is the way to solve the problem and get rid of your email address on your home screen. And First off, what you do is you hit the Xbox button. And then if you look at the top there, I'll go into this with my next video, but they've changed the layout. But you're at the top and you want to go all the way to the right now. It used to be all the way to the bottom when it was located on the left, but all the way to the right now. Click on that. And if you look here, you've got count and all the usual stuff. And you want to go into sign in, security and pass key. And then once you've gone into sign in security and pass key, you'll get this screen here. And if we go across and then all the way up to the top, it's got my email there and there's a checkbox. Now that would be checked and that would then show the email address on the home screen. And you want to uncheck that. And when you do, it will no longer show the email address. So that's it basically, no more to it than that. Bit of a pain that they set it to show your email address as a default, but it's easy to sort out. Hopefully they'll make it so that it defaults to not showing the email address and then people won't have to use this video and go through a lot of rigmarole to try and find out what's going on. But in the meantime, that should solve your problem and uh, I'm off to try and start the other videos. So I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.